Hi, we are the Impostors, an improv troupe from Shetland. We perform improvised comedy where everything we do from sketches, short games, right to long form has been made up entirely on the spot. And to help us do that today, Shetland Arts has got lots of your suggestions from you, the lovely public, where you've been sending in relationships, locations, words, and we'll be using all those suggestions today at the start of each game and scene to inspire us forever we make up on the spot. So today performing for you, we have Alex, Thomas, Les, myself, Maddie Lane, and Ashley, who will be doing the monologue in the second half of the show. So without right, further ado, let's begin the show. The first short form game we have is called Quantum Leap. And for that, we're using your suggestion of a location. So Thomas, please come play the game with me. So Quantum Leap is a game where we will be acting out a scene as our own characters until we hear... Flop! Then we'll need to continue the action by taking on the other person's character... Flop! Until we're told to swap back again. You get it. So for this game we're going to use a location and the suggestion of a location from yourselves is... A supermarket. Hello. I, I was noticing that you were looking at the tinned vegetables over there and uh, I, I'm actually quite a fan of the tinned mushrooms that I noticed you were glancing down at. Pardon? <laughs> I was just saying I like the champignons. You want a mushroom? Oh please, if there's enough for both of us. Uh, hello. My name is Mimi. <laughs> um, my name's Nigel. What? <laughs> and this is my trolley, and that's your trolley. Oh, oh beep, beep. Uh, uh, what is this uh, beep, beep? <laughs> it is a funny joke about voitures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're new. Uh, yes, uh, I've just uh, moved to this area, and I'm here in the supermarket. Uh, uh, I have yet to make some uh, new friends here. Perhaps we could... Uh, Look, yaoot. <laughs> That's how you say yogurt. Uh, we, uh, Which is also sometimes pronounced yogurt. Oh. <laughs> Where? And uh, did you know that actually uh, some of the yogurt here has got bacteria in it, which are very good for your 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 stomach and digestive system. Uh, yeah, we, I am a, a dietitian. I know about food. Oh, uh, a dietitian. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell because you look like you've been on a diet recently. Um, pardon? Uh, you've got a, you, you don't look overweight and it looks like you've probably done some exercise at some point. Okay, <laughs> well it is nice to meet you. Uh, uh, our, our, our talking has not ended yet, we are still speaking. Oh. It is customary to not stop speaking until I say so. Isn't this fun? Uh, well, it's been fun getting to know someone, uh, but perhaps we could uh, uh, catch up sometime. Oh, look, spaghetti. You probably call that Italian food. Uh, no, we call it spaghetti. Oh, right. Quite. Uh, so, uh, Nigel, uh, I think I better be getting on my... Oh, but wait, I what? haven't... I haven't shown you all the... Swap! Different kinds of legume. <laughs> Ooms that I like doing impressions of. Here's my impression of a fava bean. Oh, oh no, <laughs> that is quite good. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like that, then you'll love my chickpea. No, <laughs> wait. Oh, wait. And wait, here's, you'll like this one. Here. <laughs> here's a squash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as uh, you know, th this uh, squash is more of a gourd. Oh, how would you be a squash? <laughs> well, I'd be a squash by... Swap! Well, would you just like to see me be a squash? <laughs> Rather. I <laughs> <laughs> Regarde. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, that's incredible. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm literally in the supermarket with a giant squash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are very funny. I did not know that people had such good sense of humor here. <laughs> yes, well, people are often saying that I've got a great sense of humor. I thought we were just going to talk about foodstuffs and you were going to tell me inane facts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've proven you wrong. Now, perhaps you'd like to... Go for dinner? Oh, well, yes, that, that would be great. I was going to suggest that we leave the supermarket and never see each other again like most of the women I meet here. Well, what? But if you'd well, like why? to go for dinner with me, then that would probably be the best thing that's ever happened to me, ever. Here's, here's how I feel like now if I was a chickpea. So <laughs> Oh, a smiling chickpea. Yes, because I'm happy about going for more food with you that we can actually consume while we sit down rather than buying it in packages. I'll cook you my specialty. Yes. Champignonomalat. And see. <laughs> Hello. Next up, it's the alphabet game uh, featuring Alex and myself, Thomas. So for this game, we'll be asking Ashley to run through the alphabet in her head. Uh, we'll be getting a letter selected at random, and then each line of dialogue that Alex and I deliver will sequentially start with the next letter of the alphabet until we go all the way through it. And the suggestion from uh, our audience for this game is an occupation, and the occupation is athlete. Stop. I. I. I think I'm gonna take the gold this year. <laughs> Just go for it, Billy. I'm so proud of you, son. Kay. Dad. I know you. I know I'm in my fifties, and you're a lot older than me. But let me tell you, son. I knew I'd never give up on you. Not even when you were comatose for all that part of your life. M makes a big difference when you tell me that. Thanks for picking up my childhood in my 50s. Nobody believes in you like I do, Billy. That's why you're gonna nail the triathlon. Oh my God, Dad, I don't know if my old joints can, can do it. That's what I say to anyone telling you your joints can't do it. You just gotta believe in yourself. Quite so, Qu quite so. Really unsteady there, Billy. Are you sure you're all right? You're not having another episode, are you? Saint Snow, Dad, it's just my knees. Tell it to me straight. Your knees aren't giving you a dip, are you, Billy? Because that would mean you'd be putting your health in danger by competing. Unbelievably, I, I don't want to let you down. Very well, Billy, in that case, Got to tell you something I've never told you before. Well, lay it on me, Dad. <laughs> X-rays of your knees have shown that if you run today, Billy, you'll never walk again. So you've got to choose, Billy. Do your father proud or never walk again. You know that's not a choice. I've only got one option. It's to make you proud, Daddy. Zoiks, that burst my Blubber just to hear that from your son. I'ma do it. Boy, you, you make him a cry, boy. <laughs> Crying dad is what I want. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> do it, legs be damned. Dad, I don't normally cry, son, but damn it, I'm crying. Every day I'm gonna make you proud, dad. Father is a word I'm proud to call myself. <sighs> gonna do it. Here's, here's looking at you, Billy. Run. <laughs> and see.
Our next game is one of our favourites. It's Pick Up A Quote with myself and Thomas. Hello. Where we will act out a scene based on one of your suggestions and also we will, uh, every now and again, use film quotes that you have given us. And the suggestion based on the relationship is... Dog and Dog Walker. So, have you, uh, have you brought your dog around so that I can take him for a walk? What are you talking about? I'm, I'm here. I'm right here. I'm the dog. You're the dog? I'm here for my walk. But I'm Steve, Steve the dog. I'm here for your, I'm here for a walk. It's 12 o'clock and I'm here for my walk. What, 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 what kind of breed of dog are you supposed to be? A cockapooder, well, cockapoo, really. I'm a pretty, uh, you know, hypoallergenic dog. I take a lot of walking and that's why I booked myself in for some extra sessions. Uh, I'm feeling pretty, pretty pumped. So I'm just ready to, you know, go for it. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm, 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 I'm not sure about this. What? You're a dog walker. Yeah, but... but a dog? A do dog's on four legs. You're standing on two. All oh, right, so you're prejudiced against dogs that walk on two legs now. Is that what it is? Because I've had enough of that, buddy. <sighs> Look. <sighs> you're tearing me apart, Lisa. That is your name, isn't it? No, it's not my name. I already established that it was Steve or something. <sighs> but you can call me Lisa. I'm pretty responsive. I'm a fast learner. So if you want to call me Lisa, I'll come calling. Right, I'll, I'll call you Lisa. Yes? It's, it's easier for, for yes? me to call you Lisa. Okay. But you've got to be in four legs. I'm, I'm not going to walk a dog with two legs. What? I've, got, I've still got my four legs. I'm just walking on two of them. Come on, buddy. Let's go. But everybody will look at us and go, look, he's, that's not a dog he's walking. Now they'll look at us and then they'll say, I feel the need, the need for speed because of how fast that dog is walking on its hind legs like a guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I'm a dog walker, not yeah. a dog sprinter. Well, okay. So you need to slow down, slow down, slow down. Power walk. Power walking my dog. Power walking Lisa the dog. I'm ready. Power walking Lisa. <sighs> I mean, after all, a boy's best friend is his mother. No, I think you'll find a boy's best friend is his dog. I've, I've never had my own dog. You have a dog walker, but you don't have your own That's dog? That's why I walk dogs, because I've never had a dog. I, mean, I just had my mother. That's incredible. I've got something to tell you, Bob. I don't have an owner. You're what do you say? Lisa, Lisa, your male cockerpoo? Looking at you and telling you, fasten your seatbelt, it's going to be a bumpy night. Whoa! Yeah, that's right, bumpy because of all the walking we're going to do. Whoop, whoop, walking Lisa. Oh, I'm not sure about this, I'm not sure. I mean... What have you got to lose? What have I got to lose? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. You've got to be a proper dog, you've got to be on your... your four feet. Okay. All right then, I'm willing to learn. I'll do what it takes. If it means you'll take me on as your owner, then I'll, you know, I'll get down and get down on four knees and say, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not meant to own you. I'm only meant to walk you then give you back to your owner that you don't, don't have, have one, buddy. <sighs> how, 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 how am I I don't, I don't actually want to. I live in a flat in the top of a multi-storey car park. I can't look after a dog yeah, like sure you. you can. I can walk upstairs on my hind legs. I suppose next you'd be saying you can operate the lift and Wh things like that. that, that, that. After all, what, what are you doing in my swamp anyway? Well, you arranged to meet me here for my walk, so here I am in the swamp. I'm excited to walk on a new kind of terrain. Yeah, but you've been rolling around in the mud and that. Look at the state of your... I, I know, it's, no. it smells amazing. I love rolling around in the mud and making myself yes. smell like the things where I am. Thank it just makes me say, I'm Audi. I'm Audi. What are you, Steve, Lisa, Audi? What? what? Well, I was once Audi, then I was Steve, and now I'm Lisa, your dog. But I'll tell you, 
I'm feeling really good about this. I'm Groot. I'm so, Groot, I'm Audi, I'm Lisa. So, so you're, you're now Lisa, Audi, Steve, Groot. That's right. Some say I've got a personality disorder. I'm seen. I'm just a Monday in the pirate. That's my baby. Get your crew going. Uh. You and Sharon, none of my meat. Ladies and gentlemen, the next game is an old favourite of ours called the Duck Game, and it'll be myself and Mary Elaine. Now, for the Duck Game, Mary Elaine and I will do a normal two person scene, but every time we hear the quack, quack we have to change whatever we've just said or done. And we will be using an occupation which is cruise ship entertainer. <laughs> well, hi there, everybody. My name is Avery Tinkler, and I'm here to entertain y'all. I'm just playing my piano. Quack. I'm just playing my cello in a most unconventional fashion. Most people put it between their legs, but between my legs is restricted for the ladies. <laughs> you there, little missy, what's your name? Tell, tell Avery Tinkler. I'm Betty. Quack. I'm Sylvia. Quack. I'm Anne. That's a real pretty name, man. Where are you from? Pretty land? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Shetland. Is that pretty land? Yes. Well, ain't that just fine? You enjoying the music tonight, Anne? Yes, I am. I hey, buddy. Did you just take my photograph without yes. my consent? Y yes. Avery Tinkler don't like it when you take his photograph without his consent. Quack. Ivory Tinker loves <laughs> it when you just take charge, baby. You take, you snap away, baby. Ivory, I've seen you before. Quack. I've never seen you, but I've tried to be like this. Oh, you, uh, you something of a fan? You've been watching my YouTube channel? Yeah, I got the cruise just because you were on it. I don't even know where the Mediterranean goes. It's just water, baby. It's just sail around it. You just, you just let me guide you. <laughs> I'll guide you all sorts of places. Ivory. Will you have a drink with me after the show? What? Oh, would you like my cabin number? Yes. What? No, baby, that would be unprofessional of Avery Tinkler. The only thing these delicate fingers go me tinkling is a cello. But what about your song, I love every one of my ladies like they're my true cello? What? What about your song, I sleep with every woman who watches me in a concert? What? What about your song, get on my love machine that is my best song yeah you can't just say those things and not mean it ivory tinkler damn she's boxed me into a corner there i don't want to betray my fans okay baby what nah baby <laughs> betraying my fans is what ivory tinkler does ivory how can you live such a solo life i didn't see with no one to love you every day wouldn't you like that? No. No, I would not. That's why I chose a cruise ship entertainer, the loneliest profession in the world. Well, I came here to find love. <laughs> That's right, baby. You just made me close the lid on my cello. What? You just made me put a big old, a big old meat platter down on my cello that I want to share with you. <laughs> yes, Ivy. I'll share your bratwurst. Quack. I will nibble on that chorizo. Quack. I will slap that salami right against my face. Yeah, you will, baby. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be an average tinkler. So, Ivory, is this it? We could get married by the captain. We're on a boat. No. What? I, I, just, I just want to share some meat with you. What? I thought we were going to get married. What gave you that impression? You went literal feasting on food. That's not a proposal, baby. 
I'm sorry, I've, I've never been on cruise before. I thought this was a place where dreams come true. I told you I wanted to find love. Oh, baby, I think you made a mistake leaving Pretty Land. <laughs> I, don't think you're, I don't think you're cut out for the, the lonely life at sea of a cruise ship entertainer. Quack. I don't, I, I think you, you crave human companionship. Yes. You're craving some ivory right now. Yes. All I have to offer you is my meat. I thought you were offering me yourself, but now I see you're just this. You're just a hollow showman. It wasn't a metaphor. It was literal meat that I was offering you. You just come here to entertain us, but you don't mean anything by it. That's my job, baby. Quack. I don't even get paid for this. I just sail the seas, playing with women's hearts. What are you? Some modern day love pirate? Let's title my next song. I'm just gonna move this here, meat platter. I'm just a modern day love pirate. That's right, baby. Get your groove on. You ain't sharing none of my meat. And see. <laughs> Our next game is Oscar Moment with Alex and myself, where uh, we will take a suggestion from yourselves out of the hat. And uh, when Ashley gives us the call, we will go into an Oscar winning performance. And the location is... A retirement party. Right, well, thank you, everybody, for... Thank you for throwing me this lovely... This lovely party. Boy, boy, this is just... This is just... I do, 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 do deserves. Who's been here for about... 40 years. So I think that dude should get a good party. It's just you and me, though. Did nobody else, did nobody else want to come? Did nobody else love old Billy? <sighs> to, be, to, to be honest, Billy, do, do, do Kent would like to visit to work? Oscar moment, Les. To be honest, I would he hated Billy. Right for that first day that he came into work for us, he just hated everything. So everybody hated him in return. He came in and he was moaning about this and moaning about that. The, the, the grub in the, the canteen at dinner time was just useless. Who did he expect was to pit up with that day in, day out? To be honest, I had to be bribed to come here to his party. I wasn't wanting to come at all. Nobody was. Because everybody hated him that much. But they had a whip round, and rather than give Billy a present, they gave me about a hundred pound just to come and be wee Billy. To make sure that at least they had some kind of party well, everybody else is out at the pub getting absolutely out of their faces. But a man's got to do what a man's got to do, isn't he? And my pals wanted me to at least say cheerio to Billy and make sure that he's no coming in the morning. Oh, that breaks my old heart. Forty years. Forty, 40 years I've worked here at Apple. And Aye. never, never once did I feel like I went without friends until right now. <sighs> it's enough to break my old heart. Well, I, t t to be honest, Billy, I think it was the weather. I mean, look at the weather. It's beautiful. Ask a moment, Alex. Ah, my one regret, my one regret is that nobody came to my party. Because I wanted one last chance to make every one of these dicks miserable. From day one, 40 years ago, when I stepped into this office, I hated every single man, woman and beastie. 
and I made it my life's mission to make their lives as miserable and depressing as possible. So every day I moaned. I put on my face like thunder and I'd moan and I'd make them miserable and I, I, fe I festered the hate. I grew the hate like a, a ficus or some other kind of houseplant. And I watered it with my misery. And all I wanted as a retirement gift was one last chance to ruin everybody's day. But I only got one person at my party. Big Alec there. Which is good, because I hated him the most of all. And I'm going to ruin his night like he's never the night ruined before. Oh, oh, before I forget... I must give you this. This is a present for you. Well, Aberdeen. It's a pencil. Oh, thank you, Alec. It's shite. Uh, it's the wrong colour. You know I don't like black and red HP pencils. Only like the yellow and black ones. Right, let's go to the pub then, shall we? Aye, find some of the other boys. Go and see, go and see our dederines. Aye, come on then. Great moon. And sixteen. And our next game is Space Hop. Now this is a really fun game. We start with a single word, and one person starts a one-person scene. Then another person jumps out and starts a new scene with two people, and it keeps going till we're all playing. And then we start working our way back. Our word is cure. I've done it. I've done it. By God, I've done it. Cure. Cure, 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 Giuseppe, come here. Come here, Giuseppe. What? I'm going to show you the, f uh, the family secret. Uh, how to make the ham. The Serrano ham. I've awaited for this day forever or so long. Uh, My grandfather taught me when I was a little bambino. And now I'm 39. Now you're 39, the age that a man stops become, being a bambino and becomes a man. That's right. How do I make the ham, Papa? <sighs> cure! Cure, 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 cure! Ma'am? Dad? Yes? What do you mean you need my kidney for my brother? Well, he's sick, you see. And y you've got matching genetics. You've is got the same blood type. Your organs are compatible. Is that why my name is... Back up, yes. Yes. We always knew this would happen to Jimmy, you see. That's why we had you. <sighs> I've got weak kidneys. We always knew this was going to happen. And as for me, the thought of drastically shortening my lifespan to slightly extend Jimmy's was too much to bear. Oh, I would never <sighs> ask you to do that. No. Never ever ask someone you love to, no. to do something like that. Cure! 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 cure, cure, cure. cure. Oh, come on, guys. Well, we were meant to be a tribute band to the Cure. And what have you come as? The Smiths, look. There we go. Johnny Marr, Morrissey. I just feel really sad and I like veganism. <sighs> Aye, but, but, but I'm Robert Smith for the Cure. As for you. I love Kiss, what can I say? What? Star Child. <laughs> Can we not be like Wrong decade. They were more 70s, really. We can still play. No, I'm not playing with you. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Cure. 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 cure, 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 cure. And there's no cure for Jimmy's condition, so we can't... So no. I have to give my kidney for my brother. That's right. My brother. Yeah. What, what, what's, what's all the air quotes about? He is your brother. Yeah. And you are his walking meat freezer. I can't believe you want me to sacrifice half my life for the bloody cat! <laughs> cure, 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 cure! So, Papa, the secret. 
it, my, my heart swells up. It's a swelling so big to, to, with pride. The first thing you need is a meat. Of course the meat, Papa. I would have never a guest. And then, the next thing you need is... Papa? Papa? Papa! My boy! To cure the meat, you need... I need... What, Papa? Cure! 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 cure, cure, cure. cure. I've done it! The cure to... The cure... To feeling a little bit sleepy in the morning when you don't really know or understand why and you had a good night of sleep but for some reason you feel a little bit grumpy the next morning and you know you've got a busy day that day but oh, I guess the boss isn't gonna be too happy about that. Oh. And scene. <laughs> Hi, so now it's time for the second half of the show. We will be doing a whole long form. We'll get one word suggestion from yourselves, from this hat. Ashley will then perform a monologue and then we'll perform a 20 minute play based off that monologue. So, the final suggestion of the night is... Rabbit. The first two pets I ever had was two rabbits. I got them when I was about five and their names were Flopsy and Fufu. Um, Fufu died first and died quite soon. Um, but Flopsy lived for years and years. Um, Flopsy actually died on Christmas Day, but I didn't find out until Boxing Day. Um, I was really excited to go out to the hutch in the garden and to feed the rabbit. And I didn't know that my mum and dad had actually already taken care of it. So I went out to the hutch and I found the hutch empty. And mum and dad had to sit me and my sister down and say that the, the rabbit had actually died on Christmas Day, but they didn't want to tell us. And, and so they waited until Boxing Day. Um, Boxing Days in my house ever since have been a bit weird. Like always something seems to happen on Boxing Day. Um, unfortunately, other closer family members have passed away or there's a big fight or there's some sort of weird family secret or thing revealed. Um, so now what usually happens is I will go to my partner's family's house on Boxing Day and we'll play some board games or do something like that. A few years ago, I went to his family's house for Boxing Day and they had uh, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here style game where they made everybody in the room eat insects covered in chocolate and scorpion that was set into lollies and things like that. So I suppose now I don't really know what I want to do for Boxing Day. And that's what I think of when I think of rabbit. Did you uh, take care of him then? <sighs> yes, I, I took care of him, honey. I buried him. Good. I know it was sad, but Fopsy needed to go. I know. He betrayed the family. He saw too much. Only he hadn't hopped in with his little twitchy nose. Right, right then, I right know. when we were portioning up the drugs. <sighs> we did the right thing, though. Of course. He if could. our little girl ever found out, then, well, we'd have to take care of her, too. Doesn't bear thinking about, does it? No. That would be my turn as well. I know. But I uh, know it's fine, Flopsy's. He's in a better place now, the bottom of the garden, next to all the others. Okay, so you want to get me to uh, bump off this? Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's, uh... you tall. He's a kind of short kind of fella, isn't he? Yeah, long. Big long ears. Black. What white. He's a goddamn rabbit. Yes. 
You expect me to bump off a rabbit? Yes. I'm used to whacking people. Well, then it'll be very easy. You should be charging me half. Less than half is less than half a man. I just need it to look like an accident. How much are you going to pay me, fella? Those are rabbits. 50 quid? I need it done clean. My little girl can't know what happened to Flopsy, okay? Okay. Can you get in onto the middle of the road and I will get my automobile and I will I don't want to know how it's done. The hutch will hey, be open I need tonight. Some, I need some help The here, hutch will be fella. open tonight and I'll leave a lettuce in the middle of the road, okay? Okay. <laughs> my new archaeology kit for Christmas. Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> oh, you're... Don't, don't dig down over there, honey. There's <coughs> no, honey, no, don't look down there. Oh, my God, the rabbit! No, 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 honey. Why? Why are there bullet holes in his face? <sighs> because he had an accident yesterday. He has a knife in his belly. I know. You wouldn't... <sighs> we just didn't want to ruin Christmas Why for you. Some tattoo, I'm a pig on his chest. I know, yeah. Uh, sorry, honey. Where's his little tail gone? I don't know. <gasps> that was what was next to me on my pillow, wasn't it? <sighs> it was his tail. It might have been, yes. It was, honey. <gasps> Who's done this? Uh, look, I'll, I'll just come clean and tell you, honey, okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> it was the fairy. It was the, it was the, the bunny fairy. The bunny? It was the Easter bunny fairy. The Easter bunny? He Sit down, Flopsy. Sit. You know why you're here, Flopsy? No. Do you know who I am? No. I'm Easter Bunny Fairy. No! 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 I haven't done it! I haven't eaten any eggs! No! Please! Please! I have millions and millions of children! I don't care. <laughs> I'm in the business of making millions and millions of wee rabbit orphans. There's a little girl who loves me so much. Then I'll make sure to leave a lovely little flower on your grave. Oh, oh, no! Easter Bunny, please! Please! They're paying me a lot of money to deal with you. <laughs> Unless you can uh, match my price. What? What? If you can match my price, I might substitute another rabbit. Okay. Nobody can tell the difference between rabbits when they're in a hole in the ground. Okay. Give 50 quid. 50? Okay. Um. Give 50 quid and Fufu is the one that gets it. Fufu? Yep. My wife? Yep. How much do you want to live, Flopsy? Of course you do. Yes. Okay. I done what you sort of said you wanted me to. I whacked that rabbit goo, but he put up a hell of a fight. I, yeah, okay, you had the lettuce in the middle of the road. He put up a fight? He put up a fight. I had to the shoot rabbit. him. I had to shoot him. I had to stab him. But just before he died, he said, My foo foo. What the hell's a foo foo? That's the rabbit it. spoke. The rabbit spoke. He says, Where's my foo foo? I miss my foo foo. I'm, I'm beginning to think we maybe made a mistake here. That, no, no, we didn't. That means the rabbit was totally going to grass us up. I guess he was. If he could yeah, speak, he, was. he would have known. 
I knew I was right to be paranoid about that rabbit. Okay, you earned your money. Good catch. Good night and good night, little one. That was lovely. Our first Christmas as parents. No. <sighs> so oh, perfect. It's after midnight. Ah, Boxing Day. Yeah, so well, now I can tell you. What? What? Tell me what? Well, I don't want to tell you on Christmas because it's Christmas, but baby Reuben isn't yours. What? No. Baby Reuben? It was that Reuben, wasn't it? I thought it was weird that you wanted to call our baby Reuben. I just, just the name couldn't get in my head because every time we had sex, I was like, Reuben, Reuben, Reuben. So I, I was like, know, oh. I didn't like that very much. No. So I just said I was just thinking of a baby's name and that was handy. But now I've told you, oh dear. This is the worst boxing day ever. I know, but at least Christmas was lovely, wasn't it? Wasn't it, it amazing? It was Reuben's Do you first remember Christmas? the turkey? The Everything was perfect. I know. But Reuben? What do you see in him? What do you have that I don't have? A working prostate? Boxing day. Come on in to your in-law's house on boxing day. Oh, come on in. Yeah, I... Yeah, boxing day. I know, but I guess... I'm really, I'm really chuffed that you chose to, to be here with the in-laws on Boxing Day instead of close family. Yeah, I know. We're just going to play board games, it's fine. Great. Okay. It's fine. Now, if you just lift up the box in front of you. This would be nicer than last year's it's surprise for you. I know, anything can be better than last Boxing Day. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah it's, it's going to be fun. It's based on, I am a celebrity, get me out of here. Okay. I'll... Whoop. It's a live rat! Oh my oh. god! Eat it! No! Eat it. What? No. That's that's Boxing Day dinner. Eat it. No, Dad. I mean... Do what? I've got one too. Oh. It's fine. Fun! Okay. And then, once we've done that, we get to roll the dice. Roll the dice? It's a game I made up myself. Okay. I'll, got, I'll go first, honey. I've got all sorts of weird animals for us to eat. Okay, so there's uh, the rats that you wanted. Cool. And there we go, the rats. Uh, this one you wanted covered in chocolate, is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Chocolate covered hedgehog. Lovely. And uh, let me see, we've got a, a box of assorted insects. And that, I love the cockroaches. Oh, yeah, did you get the hissing ones? Yeah. Yes, oh, brilliant, great, brilliant. That's going to scare great. the crap yeah, out of them. Yeah, especially when they're covered in honey. They hate being covered in honey. That's when they really hiss. Do they? I yes. didn't know that. Yeah, well, oh. yeah. It's really? going to be such a wonderful boxing oh, day. Oh, you know, I wish I was at it, but never mind. There you go. I hope you'll enjoy I, it. I mean, I would invite you, but you kind of have to be one of my in-laws to get an invite. I, I, I understand. I You've understand. You've not married understand. any of my children, so. No, 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 I understand. That's, that's what I said to me. Uh, you know, that's what I said. And I looked in the mirror this morning and says, Reuben, you know, wouldn't it be great if you were one of... One of the family. One of, you know, one of know. the family, it's yeah. But it's funny, my grandson's called Ruben. An unusual name. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's, it's quite a common name around here, of course. I, I understand that, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I might. I got the salt water crock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it in, bring it in. I can't believe you got one. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, It'll cost you extra. Yeah. He's not it's been fed for a while. He's muzzled up just now. It's family. It's worth it. <laughs> Every no expensive spare for my there in-laws. Go. Go, walk it, Tim. Go. Oh, yeah, he'll be happy. What's it like? What's it like? Yeah. Well, it's not my for... first time playing. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Well, you know, have, 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 have a good time. I don't want to do it anymore, honey. I'm sick of peddling your drugs. I'm sick of killing our pets and I'm sick of lying to our child. <laughs> we're in too deep. Martha, we're in too deep. I... <laughs> <sighs> We've been the number one drug smugglers here for years. I know, a small town. It's not meant for the likes of us. No, I, I wish we'd just go back to Colombia. <sighs> we're too big fish in this small pond. I just don't want to kill again. I just don't want to kill again. 
we should probably stop getting rabbits that are capable of grassing us up to the police. I know, why don't we just get fish? I don't... Oh! That's a great idea! That's a great idea! That's a great idea! The fish can't... The fish can't shop us. The fish aren't going to hop in. <laughs> your parents are drug dealers. They're smuggling drugs in and out of the country. They're criminals. They've killed all your previous pets. No, the, the Easter Bunny killed... The, the Easter Bunny killed my bunny. That doesn't make any sense. Who are you going to believe? Your parents are a talking goldfish. Talking goldfish, man. I believe you. Why? What have you seen? Where are the drugs? Tell me! So many things. They're in your parents. They cut them up in their bedroom. I've seen them. I have to avenge Flopsy. Do it for Flopsy. What is it you wanted to ask me about, honey? Are you enjoying your new goldfish? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Are you that okay? Yeah, Dad, I just wondered. Mm -hmm. um, no secrets in this house. No. Is the Easter Bunny real? No. 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 Then the goldfish was right. What? <laughs> Daddy, what do you do in the room with Mum? <sighs> in your bedroom? Things that our child should not know about. Exactly. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Hi, sweetheart. I just made fresh hot cross buns ready for Easter Bunny <coughs> Fairy Day. <coughs> We've got the problem we always talked about. Oh, don't worry. The cream will sort it right out. Oh. Oh. Mummy and Daddy. Yes? I went into your bedroom. No. And I found it. No. Under the bed. No. Packets of it. <laughs> Smack. Is what you wrote on it, so I can only assume. It's what that means is that's what you'll be getting for rummaging through our stuff, the isn't it, honey? The goldfish told me you do this. The goldfish told me you'd you you do light lamp me, gaslight gaslight me. Gold, the goldfish. Goldfish are notorious liars. The goldfish said that too. You're drug dealers. You're filthy drug dealers. And look at this, a liar. No. No. Our own daughter. Do you know what? I'm relieved. Relieved that we don't have to live this lie anymore. We're in the buns. We're in the buns, ma'am. <laughs> the buns were full of... drugs. They were full of drugs. They were full of I suppose the police will be here any minute to end this horrible charade. Hiya, police. It's the goldfish and me. We're doing this together. Oh, what? What the goldfish? So the police don't know. No. Trust you and the goldfish know. Goldfish, listen to the tape. Whose turn is it? You know it's mine. I'll get the gloves and the tongs. Leave the goldfish alone. It's not, it's not the, the goldfish. goldfish. I've seen. so much for watching. We've been Alex, Thomas, Les, Ashley, myself, Marilyn. We are the imposters. Cheerio!